As we got closer to the face in the rock, I knew for sure that we were on the right track. It was definitely the same as the face in the painting, but with one difference. The symbol of the tabula was missing from the rock formation. Well, here we are. Hmm, but no way to reach the face. Let's have a look around. There must be a way up. Georges was looking for a route to reach the face on the cliff. There had to be a way to get to that rock face. It was a long way down. The door was locked with a high security padlock. No way was I going to get through there. Georges, the chapel looks like it's been built right into the rock. You're right. We should take a look inside. I wonder, how old do you think the chapel is? I'm guessing the exterior is a couple of hundred years old, but the inside? Who knows? Some parts could be much older. Hmm. You think somehow this chapel might be connected to the face in the rock? At a guess, I would say so. Hey, look, it's Pearl and Dwayne. Come on, honey bun, things ain't that bad. You just don't understand. Today's been a disaster. But the monastery was closed. We got stuck in the cable car. And now this place is a building site. Aw, oh, sweetie pie. This was supposed to be the spiritual highlight of our trip, Dwayne. But the only spirit I see is that rotten turpentine over there. Aw, oh, heck. Clearly, the Hendersons weren't having a great vacation. Wood shavings. This was one building site that needed Mr. Tidy. Hmm. They smelt exotic. My mother always said cleanliness is next to godliness. Hmm. They smelt exotic. Bloomin' lovely, as Mr. Hobbs would say. Potpourri, handmade, Grandma's favorite. I sprayed Brett onto my experimental potpourri. One sniff would kill a man for sure. It was a stone carving showing a kneeling figure. The wall here was made of bare rock. It looked like the chapel had been built right into it. A battered oil drum had been tucked into the scaffolding. The scaffolding was a little loose. Everything rattled. It made a surprisingly dulcet noise. It produced a dull sound when I wrapped my knuckle against it. It 
produced a dull sound. It produced a dull sound. It was Pearl. She wasn't her usual cheery self. It was Dwayne Henderson. He was trying to comfort Pearl, who was in quite a state. Great to see you again, Mr. Henderson. Great to see you too, George. Great work back there with the cable car. <laughs> Is Pearl okay? Uh, I wish. Uh, I'm afraid we're having one of those days where everything goes wrong. <laughs> Tell me about it. What have you been up to since we last met in Quaramonte? Well, there was that little sideshow in Rome, but we can't talk about that. Uh, you know why, George. I do? Uh, I mean, I do. Why? Top secret. Need to know, Nico. Dwayne is, uh, uh, snoozer. Don't you mean a sleeper? No way, honey. A snoozer's at least two pay grades up from a sleeper. Uh, uh, so I hear. Anyway, I don't believe I've had the pleasure, Miss, uh... Nicole Collar. Call me Nico. Well, how's about that? So this is the beautiful Nico. No wonder you've been hiding her away from me, Georgie boy. Gosh, uh, no, I, uh... It's lovely to finally meet you too, Mr. Henderson. George has taught me so much about you. Oh, call me Dwayne, my dear. And let me assure you of one thing. Everything you've heard is quite possibly true. Dwayne was loud, large, and short-sighted. But boy, was he a charmer. Is there anything we can do for Pearl? I sure as hell hope so, George. She's been planning and researching this trip for years. Our little pilgrimage. And Santa Cova Chapel here was the cherry on the cake. Not a thing she don't know about this place. Madonna, blah, blah, blah. Chapel built in, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> She's Santa Cova's very own walking encyclopedia. Well, weeping encyclopedia, I should say. <laughs> so what brings you to Santa Cova? Pearl's idea from the get-go. <laughs> Ever since the unfortunate car accident back home, she's been scouring those pilgrimage brochures. Gotta be full of wonder and life-changing imagery. Got to have uh, penance potential. Got to offer a, a real spiritual experience. Well, I'm sure this place will be very spiritual once it's finished. <laughs> if the chapel is not what she expected, how about the monastery? Hot dog, no. That place is for tourists, not pilgrims. You said she expected a spiritual experience? Yeah, that's what the brochure promised. Pilgrimages, little monk fellas, singing, uh, shafts of light, the, the whole shebang. Smells, bells, and heavenly lights. Yeah, that's what the lady wanted. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yeah, Pearl needs me. There, there, dear. Pearl could be a mine of information about the chapel, if we could just cheer her up. Hi, Dwayne. Hey, George. Did you see the Black Madonna? Oh, you betcha. She's the little lady we came to see. Though Pearl's in too much of a state to even look at her. Oh. 
<laughs> he prop Dwayne, know anything about this? Uh, sorry, George, I don't. What can you tell me about Santa Cova? Well, Pearl's the expert, not me. She knows everything there is to know about this chapel. Hey, that tune you were whistling earlier, it sounded familiar. Oh, it's Schubert's Ave Maria. In our courting days, me and Pearl used to hang out with the Campanology Society. It was Pearl's favorite. Uh, how's Pearl? Uh, she's pretty upset, George. Well, maybe she just needs a hug. Is that the best you got? The last time she was in a mood like this, I tried the old hug routine. Didn't go well? I still have the scars, not just the mental ones. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, Pearl needs me. There, there. De I poured the turpentine into the paint can. The hammer produced a promising sound. F sharp. What are you up to? Look! I made a church in spiel. G. B, if I wasn't mistaken. A. G. I had it. It was the tune Dwayne was humming. Josh, that's Ave Maria. Let me have a go. Wow, you really nailed that, Nico. Yep, this mop really is pretty special. Leave this to me. I'd lowered the candelabra. I often wondered what these things looked like close up. A statue of the Madonna and Child watched over the chapel. An empty, coffee-stained mug had been left by the altar. I put the supercharged potpourri in the mug. <laughs> 